Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my inky hands. Yes, um, I don't even know what video this is. I'm, I'm lost, I have no idea. So um, today, um, this is the second journal that I'm doing at the same time. So in yesterday's video, we went over um, doing the cover, doing the envelope. Now this is the envelope that I'm actually going to put in here. I did not put the um, the little circle thing on the one that's going in here because I think I am going to put um, Velcro, I'm not sure. And then we had folded um, this stuff here and done the acetate. And so what I done when I went off camera, um, was I sewed around my um, acetate window there, and then I sewed around here, and so we'll glue that down, and then I also sewed around this here, and we'll glue that. And then the other thing that I went ahead and did, and I didn't tell you that, was um, I, done, I cut out a piece of the paper and sewed around it for a pocket to go right here. And then I've done one like this that's going to go here. So let's go ahead and glue this stuff down. Then we'll work on the next part. Um, now remember, I'm not actually gluing anything down into the book until the absolute last. Um, I think I may actually use some of my score tape and glue to put this down. And just use whatever um, adhesive works best for you, whether it be the, you know, the Fabri-Tac or the um, score tape, art glitter. You just use whatever you are most comfortable using. And I hope I'm in screen. It doesn't look like I am. And I apologize if you guys can hear the TV, but my husband is home. And this is actually Saturday afternoon. The video will go up on Sunday. Um, so I was late posting the video that actually aired this morning. Um, we were trying to get ready for a funeral and it was quite crazy. And so I was late getting all that done and then when I got home from the funeral, um, I had to get, you know, everything together and prepped for the video. So, yeah, it's just been, like I said, this journal, it's not difficult to do at all. Um, it's just, especially with me um, doing it, trying, you know, showing you guys and because I'm doing this one. I'm doing the one, I'm having to do the one where... I remind myself what I done so I'm having to like recreate everything because I don't remember and so I'm ha I'm doing that one and I'm doing that one off camera so um, because I want to do this one completely on camera with you guys so this is how I line stuff up is I just like stand it up like that and then just kind of go at it and that's just for me that's the easiest way that I can do it okay it looks like I should have pulled it over this way just a little bit more but it may already be glued down and it's fine if it is and yeah it looks like it is oh well okay so we've got that down and so now we have this big pocket in here so when you open it, I want to put this down right here. 
And so this will make a cute little pocket for the inside here. And I think I'm just gonna glue this one down. I mean, the glue, the Fabri-Tac holds for sure. So, and again, um, I don't know how many of you guys are gonna be sewing or not, but just, you know, sewing, it's not something that you have to do. It does not make a difference in the book. So don't think that you have to sew. I'm just doing it um, because um, I done it on the first one and I do like the way that it looked. So I'm trying to kind of keep everything about the same. So now let me put this piece down and let me make sure I get it the right way. And so I'm just gonna glue on the three sides. So that's all I'm doing right now. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue this down right here. And so this I didn't, um, I didn't stress that I didn't do this that part on camera because that's pretty um, self-explanatory. It was just cutting a piece of paper the width of the page and then however tall I wanted the pocket and then this one I just cut it the um, height of the page and however wide I wanted the pocket. So now we have this and let's glue this right here down. So we're just going to glue these two sides here. And then I will show you how this pocket or how this page will go. We're not gonna put it actually in yet, but I will show you guys how it's going to go. And you'll see it kind of starting to come together a little bit. Okay, so if this is our journal, this will be glued down like this. And then this will be here, okay? Then this page here is going to actually, see how, let me see if I can remember how I done it. Oh yeah. Okay, so this page here is going to hook to the back side of this um, envelope right here. So then it'll be like this on top of it, okay? So that's where we're at right now. And let me show you what I've already got done in this one and what we will be doing today. So this, I'm gonna show you kind of the same thing. So this will be our, um, our um, page that we glue down. This will be our envelope for this one. It's gonna go like that. This is the page that we just done. And look how pretty that is, okay? And so it's going to attach here like this and it'll close like this and then this is what we are going to work on today all of these elements right here because this let me see if I get it right now gotta make sure I remember how to do it okay so this is going to be like this and this is going to be like this and it is actually going to be on this side attaching and it'll close and then this is going to be here and we'll open this way yes that's a lot I know but don't worry we're gonna do it together so let's see what we have so what I'm needing right now is um, I want to, let me grab this out so you guys can see. And so I'll remind myself. So this is what we are wanting to do right now. And if you'll notice, there are pockets here. And then there's little tuck spots here. Okay. So that's what we need to work on right now. And I think this is the page I was thinking of using. So it will be like this. So this is just a full sheet of 12 by 12. And so let's see. I fold this right here. I fold, this is the first way that I fold. 
and that's for my little um, tuck spots right here. So however deep you want your tuck spots, that's how deep that fold's going to be. And then what I've done is I just folded it back over to leave a little space right here. Okay. I think that's what I've done. Well, you can see I left more space right here than I did on this one, but it's fine. Um, so now I need to cut this. And my book is nine. Let me cut this at, um, let me cut it at eight and a half and then we'll kind of work on it from there. My paper cutter. Okay, so before I cut it, let me just show you guys, So make because I wanna make sure you guys understand what I'm doing. So you have a full sheet of 12 by 12. Don't worry about the sizing of anything right now. On the left side, you want to fold under a small piece that you're going to make into your, um, your tuck, okay? After you get that part done, then you're going to take and fold it back over. And you now make sure you don't make it wider than your book, but you should be fine. Um, then you just wanna leave a little bit sticking out right here and then just fold it there, okay? So I'm trying to do that a little slower so that maybe, you know, um, but if you get lost or have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me because um, I want you guys to understand what I'm doing. I don't want to just go running off saying, okay, this is what you do. Boop, 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 boom. I don't want to do that. All right, so let's cut this. I think we'll be okay cutting this at eight and a half. I mean, we could go anywhere between eight and a half and eight and three quarters, um, but I'm just going to do eight and a half, I think. All right. Now, if you are sewing, I'm going to show you what to do first and how to sew it. If you're not sewing, don't stress over this part. If you are wanting to sew it, like I have mine sewn, well, that's why I was looking backwards. I did only leave about that much. See guys, I get confused. Okay, so if you're going to sew, the first thing you want to do is take and sew around this flap. That's the first thing. Once you get that sewed, then you can close it up and then you would just get, you know, wherever your middle is, kind of fold it and get a crease. I just, um, I scored the middle of mine and then just sew right down the middle and then you wanna sew around everything. That's if you're sewing. If you're not sewing, just glue it down. Um, we may, no, I'll go ahead, I'll still sew. I was just thinking I could glue this one, but I think I will still sew it. Okay, let's just go ahead and glue it so that way I, I feel better because I don't want any of you guys to think that you absolutely have to um, sew. So what I'm going to do is I am going to glue right down this middle just like this and then I'm going to glue along these edges just like that. Okay, and so that's going to be the two pockets there, okay? And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue right down the middle here. And then I'm going to glue on each side. Okay, so there, we have it glued. I should have went ahead and inked it, but I was thinking I was going to need to be sewing it. And I don't normally ink until after I'm done sewing because I don't want that ink all in my sewing machine. But it is perfectly fine. I can ink it when I get everything done if I need to. Okay. So now we have this page here. 
and you'll see why I say that I do like it so now it may it may look um, so different to me because that one is inked and you know ink kind of adds a different dimension to everything so I will go ahead and ink it a little bit because I'm just curious So, and again, guys, I do apologize if the TV is too loud. I am so sorry. But I'm having to film these videos whenever I can. Okay. See, I should have done that before I glued it. Yep, I definitely should have. And it'll be okay. I'm not going to stress over it too much. Okay. Now, I'm not going to ink the back because on the back, I, because I sewed this one, I am putting this little um, pocket. Which way did I have it going? I don't remember. Either way, it don't matter. So, I wanted to put this little pocket with the slits that you guys seen. And so, let me show you how to do that. Um... So I need a piece of paper the same size as this. Let me see if I have any scraps over here I can use or if I need to cut something. We can use this one. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to mark it and then I'll cut it because I want it to be the same size as my paper. Okay, can I see that mark? I think I can. We shall see. All right, so I am just going to cut that down just like that. And where's my line here? Guys, I cannot see my line. Oh yeah, I can. I just thought that was part of the paper. <laughs> Y'all, I can't hardly see. It's so awful. All right, hopefully I got this cut right. Let's, let's check and see. Okay, so that's the way, uh, which it's not gonna matter because this is gonna be on the inside. Okay, so that looks like I've got it cut right. So let me go ahead and ink it because I think that's where I'm seeing the difference is that I don't have this stuff inked. And I will show you how I cut my slits for this. And you can make it into whatever you want. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just doing it the way that I've done the first one. So I'm actually going to just take on the back side because you will not see the back side. And if I can find what I done with my ruler. Oh, avalanche. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler and I am just going to measure. I'm just lining it up. I'm using my mat and I am just going to go one inch in maybe. Okay, hopefully I'm getting it, maybe, maybe not. Okay, let me grab a pen, and I'm going to use a pen because this is on the back side. Nobody will ever see this, but I need to be able to see. So there's an inch there. Now I'm just going to line this side up, and I'm going to mark an inch line here. And then I'm going to turn it this way. And uh, where do I want to put the first pocket? Maybe right about here. So I'm just, I don't have a clue how far down it is. I'm just, you know, getting me a good straight line. And then the next pocket we'll do maybe here. 
Okay, so I'm going to just cut those little places right there, just the slit and just in between the two long lines. So I'm just gonna line it up and then I'm just going to cut from there to right there, okay? And I'm gonna do that on this side or this on the bottom here. And again, just going from one side to the other. And there's our slits. So that you can see them better, let's ink them up a little bit so that you'll know that they're, you know, that there's a slit there like that. Now this is when you, if you're wanting to put the little brads, this is when you need to add your little brads. So I've just got some of the tiny ones here and I don't even poke a hole or anything. I just kind of go in and I just push the brad through. And that's all I do. But it looks really cute with the brads in it. I mean, the brads don't do anything whatsoever, but I just like the way it looks. And so, let me... Ah! This thing is giving me a fit. So let's put some in down here. one more and then I'll show you something else we're going to do to ah, to this okay so there's that and so we have that like that and now we just need to glue this down just like this but so that you make sure that you have a pocket what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue all of the top. Because I don't want anything getting lost up in the top area. So I'm gluing the whole top area. Maybe. And again, just use your adhesive of choice. Okay, so for right here, I'm going to come right down through here. And I'm going to do a U. And that's my pocket. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Okay. And then we can glue this down through here. Make sure we got glue all the way to the edge and along the bottom. All right. Now let's glue it down. And again, I just like to, it's the easiest way for me to do things. And there we go. How cute. I love it. Okay, so because I want to, let me put this one, let me grab the one that I have already, um, that I've done the sewing on and let me glue it down. Okay, so again, I'm going to um, glue all up here. That's just to make sure nothing kind of gets up there in the top and gets lost. All right. And so then I am going to glue in a U area right here. And then I'm going to glue in a U area down here. But then I want to make sure that I get it all the way to the edge over here. Okay. All right, so I think we're good. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of stand it up, boom, there we go. 
Okay. Now, the other thing that I've done on the first journal, um, so that we can eventually like hang little, you know, embellishments or something, is I put rivets in. And so I think I want to do that on this one. So. That's looking really, really cute, guys. So cute. I'm loving it. Okay, so let me grab my hair. Ah. All right, so I want to, which way did I put the rivets? I'm just trying to see which way I had the rivets facing. Okay, so I went from the from that side. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So let me put this out of the way. And let me grab this. Let me poke some holes here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it, really. You guys know I can't hardly see anyway. I'm just making sure not to get on my, um, since I did sew, I don't want to get on my sewing. But other than that, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I have my four four holes, and let me get some rivets, or eyelets, maybe four of them, look how bad my hands look, <laughs> okay, do we have four, yep, we got four out, so now I'm just going to put these down, and again, this is not something you have to do, if you don't have eyelets, or you don't want to do them, it will not change anything on the journal, So we have one, and ah, we'll eventually get the two. There's two. Oh goodness, go in there. Okay. Three and four. Okay, so look how cute it's already looking. All right, now the only other thing, um, I want to do the envelopes, um, but I'm worried that I, I don't want the videos to be so long that you guys um, get lost in them, but I really want to show you all the envelope. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one so that we can be working on it. And then I will So I'm just doing the um, eyelets in this one here. That's all I'm doing. Because I may as well go ahead and do it and be done with it. Or at least this part of it. ahead and put this in. Okay, one. So again, you know, this one, I didn't sew this, so you can see that you don't have to sew. All right, come on. This will be fun to hang some different stuff on once we get the journal done. So that's what'll be fun about having these in there. And then I just like the look of them, even if I didn't hang anything on them. I just like the way they look. Okay. So this will go like this. This will eventually go like this. 
And then I want to do an envelope. Um, let's see, how wide is this? I think that'll be a okay size. What do you guys think? I don't think it's too, too wide, so let's go with that. And let's see, we will fold it down like this, because this will be our envelope flap. Now, I need some paper to go on the inside of it here, and I'm hoping that I have some already done that I don't have to really cut. I don't think this one's tall enough, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, that works. But I want it a little bit um, larger. So let me cut. I'm going to cut it probably right here because I want to be able to do the, um, like the little gussets on it. I mean, I don't have to do them, but I think I want to do those. Um, so let's see. Let's see how that's going to work. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, so I'll know exactly to get the um, sides right. I am just going to take and do this, and then I am just going to um, kind of center this up a little bit, like that, and I'm going to just draw a line, and that's going to just let me know where I need to score. Now, I could measure, but that would probably make too much sense, so I'm just going to do it like this and it looks like it's about mm, right at a half an inch so let's see what this comes to be okay and so what's the top and the bottom because I need to score some on that so I'm just going to turn it and I'll do it maybe We'll do it right there. I don't know what that was. Okay. So that works. So what I'm going to do is fold this in. And hope I got everything lined up. We will measure that and see. So let me just do this and then before I go cutting or anything. See how it looks. Yep, I think that's good. Okay, so let me um, angle this. I'm just angling it so that it'll be easier to put in there. Okay. And what I will do, I do want to sew around this though. Um, I am going to round this. So what I'll do is I will open this out and I'll sew right through here. Make sure you keep these flaps out. And then I will sew around this flap and I am going to put a pocket on here before I sew. Yep. So let's cut that. So we'll have a pocket on the back side. Okay, so I'm just, I think that'll be a good size to have a pocket there. So it will be, when it's done, it will be like this. This will be a pocket. And then this will be over here on the front. 
like this right here. Uh, maybe. Just trying to get it to where I can show you guys what it would look like. Like that. And then we'll have the pocket back here. Okay. Um, I do have this one done. So I can go ahead and show you. Well, it's I think it's kind of done. Okay, so that's where we're at. And then we've got this. So this is what the pocket will look like. Um, I need to glue that down a little better. So you'll have the little flap there. You'll have your pocket. And then you have a pocket on the back. And so that will go... Let me get this one out. And so that's going to go right here. Okay, so we're going to attach the one side to the bottom of the envelope here. It'll open up and then this will come off of it. And I'll kind of show you a little bit easier. So it will be like this right here. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, we will probably finish up this side maybe in tomorrow's video. I'm not sure um, because I'm really, I, I don't want to go too fast because there is so many different steps. And so I want to make sure that um, I got this thing upside down again. Oh my God. Y'all, when I go to put that in, please remind me to check it. So this is what we've got so far. So you'll have this that'll open this way and this will open this way, which this will be attached over here. And then this will open this way. And then it will also open this way. So that's what we've got so far. And then we'll put another um, pocket or something on tomorrow, the, um, the one that goes over the front that I have um, the acetate in. So that's what we will do in tomorrow's video. So we're getting there, guys. We're almost done with that front part. Um, so what I will do tonight off camera is I will, um, go ahead and sew around that and I can't really sew around this now because I've already got it all glued down and it's fine um, I'm, I don't know I'm not gonna glue it so we got this will go right here and then we'll attach this and then this goes here I'm liking it guys all right carrying on we shall um get some more done tomorrow um like i said it's really it's not a difficult project at all it is time consuming um for sure but that's what makes it special and this will be one that will be very special when you get it done um, and it it they just look amazing to me so Anyway, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. I've got to go get started on my homework because to do these tutorials, I have a lot of prep work to do ahead of time, even though I'm doing all of this on camera. Um, just getting, you know, refreshing my memory and that kind of stuff. It's a lot of work. <laughs> you guys better know I love y'all. <laughs> anyway, I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.